up y'all i am uh headed to kayak i got the boat on the car and, um so i just did something that i like to do whenever uh, i'm going somewhere i haven't ever been before i like to look at like Google Maps and look at the terrain and then um, see what roads lead to where by water and then I will drop a pin and just follow that location. Do y'all ever do that? Does anybody else ever just look at Google Maps, drop a pin and go? Because uh, that's what I'm doing and we're going to see where it takes me. Um, so far that method hasn't failed me. Also if you keep your GPS up when you have lost service, the GPS will still work. So when you go hiking or if you're on water and you're out in the middle of nowhere and you don't have any service, if you've dropped a pin and then you leave your maps open, even while you're out of service, don't close the app down. It will, the blue dot will tra trace where you are and you can figure out what direction you need to go to get back to wherever you're parked or started walking or kayaking from or whatever it is that you're doing out there so just thought I'd drop in that little tidbit but I will uh, see you guys when I get to the spa What's up y'all? I am back in my boat. I am out here at Keystone Lake. And let me tell you what. What? Let me tell you what. Um, this place is the spot to be. Um, there's yachts, there's houseboats, there's party boats, ski boats, wakeboard boats. Everybody's here. Not like everybody, but all the lake people are here. And it's chill. AF. I really like this lake. Um, I did bring my fishing stuff, but I don't have it with me in my kayak. It is hot. It's in the middle of the afternoon. I've seen the size of the, the catfish that they're pulling out of here, but I'm not staying that late. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's take a tour of Keystone Lake.
like this like around Oklahoma City and 